Jeremy. Hi. Good to see you today. Just taking a look at your chart. And it looks like you've had some um, sensory issues uh, over the last few months. Um, so we want to just do a full head to toe sensory exam, okay? Okay. So I see here on my chart, the last um, time you failed the assessment, you were just having some of that sensory loss in the forehead and the side, uh, left side of your face. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes. How is that feeling now? I'm a bit better. A bit better. Great. Okay, so to be sure, just because you did have some consistent repeat um, issues with that, uh, we'll just go through systematically and starting with um, the face here. So I think I want to do the really detailed assessment today because you had those issues. And so that will involve me touching you with different stimuli, um, seeing how sensitive uh, that response is, um, including things that are a little harder to feel, things that you really should feel. Um, so not everyone that you get wrong is an indication of a problem, right? Okay. I'll just keep track here on my clipboard. And I'll start out um, just with uh, something that's a little bit more typical that we use here as a baseline. Um, so start out with a cotton swab. So I've got just a hard sort of Q-tip thing here. Um, so if you give me a palm where you haven't had any sensory issues so far, it's pretty sturdy, right? Like mm -hmm. it's not a soft puff. It's You should be able to feel it when stroked. Um, so close your eyes. And I want you to just say yes when you feel me touch you here. Yes. 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 Okay. Did any of that feel different? No. Okay. So that feels the same all the way across that line. Yes. Here feels the same side to side. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I want to make sure that um, not only can you feel everything, but you can feel the absence of pressure. Um, so I'm going to stimulate an area by touching it, and then I'm going to release that pressure, and I want you to tell me when it, it goes away, when you stop feeling it. It's gone. Okay. It's gone. 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 Good. Gone. Point, keeping your eyes closed, point to where I'm touching you. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm going to pull out a second one of these. And I'm just going to be uh, going either on both sides like that or just one side. So you can say left, right, or both, okay? Seems like with that first tool here, which is the Q-tip piece of solid cotton, um, you've got all those right. Uh, that is going to be one of our heavier um, sensory tools, so uh, it's good that you have those right, and now we'll go on to more and more sensitive objects. So moving on to the next one here. So this one is uh, just a bit of a poof here, so it's much lighter than the other one. You feel the difference? Mm -hmm. um, but you should still be able to feel quite a bit of sensation on the face. So keeping the eyes closed, just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Good. So that's good sensory intact. Right, sort of same thing here. I'm just going to ask you if you feel it the same from side to side. So does that feel the same as that? Yes. That and that? No. That and that? Yes. Good, just making sure. Yes. Same? Okay. So tell, I'm going to tap you on part of your face, same as, the, same as we've been doing, but I want you to tell me which side and part of the face. So for example, here you would say your um, left cheek. 
You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so where am I touching you? Uh, right forehead. Okay. Right cheek. Left eye. Perfect. Um, right mouth. Yep. Chin. Yep, yep, same thing, close enough. Uh, left cheek. Um, middle nose. Perfect. All right, so not only were you able to feel this one, but you're able to um, differentiate wear on the body and uh, use that neurological response to call back the area. So that's great. Moving on to even more sensitive tool here. So this one has even less cotton. You feel how that's even lighter? Mm -hmm. And it is, it is hard to feel. Um, so if you don't feel that sensation, we're not necessarily concerned, but if you do feel it, we know that you're pretty much back to full capacity, right? Mm -hmm. um, so again, just gonna start out saying yes when you feel it. Yes. Good. Okay, you feel that? Yes. What about that? Yes. It's just a noting just a little bit of um, sensation weakness still in that left side into the forehead, which is where you're having the problem, so it's not surprising. Um, but it looks like, do you feel that there? Mm-hmm. Not there? Yeah. So that looks like it's a little better there. Say so yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Okay, good. So that sensation loss in the forehead is qu quite a bit better, um, especially on the um, right side and the lower brow area. Still just a little bit of less sensitivity on this left side. But again, you were able to feel all of the other ones, so there's not true sensation loss. It's just um, a slight deficiency. So we'll try one more just for fun here. So I've got one more here, and this one's really light. You feel that's just a little, little feather right there? It's mm -hmm. really light. So uh, you may not be able to feel it, but again, close your eyes and just tell me, um, say yes when you feel something touch you. Yes. 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 So again, just confirms to me that your normal level of sensitivity is quite high, so there is still that sensation loss there. Okay, so now that we have determined that you can, in fact, um, feel some of that sensation, but there's a little loss, I wanna test your sharp and dull. This is gonna let me know, not only can you feel something, but you can tell the difference between two um, different sensations. So I have sharp tool here and again running it on your palm you feel that sharpness mm -hmm. and a soft tool there okay um, I want you to close your eyes and just tell me which one you feel this is dull and this is sharp dull dull sharp I'm just gonna move your hair out of the way sharp Okay, so that's where that sensation loss was. Do you feel this? Dull. Feels dull? Okay, what about here? Sharp. Here? Dull. Dull. Okay. Sharp. Good. Dull. Dull. Just gonna do a little harder there. Sharp. Okay. I think it's just the beard is making it a little harder. What if I press pretty hard here? Sharp. Okay. And what about this one? Sharp. Okay, good. So again, just that sensation loss there. You weren't you can't feel the dull, right? No. What about this one? Mm-hmm. That's dull. Yeah. For you? Okay. Tell me when it starts to feel different. Right about there. Okay. And here? Not there. Okay. 
right, so findings are consistent with previous noting, which is that sensory loss on the left temple area. And so you were able to feel the pressure from the sharp points, but not the fact that it was sharp. But, um, I would say right about here is where it's coming back in there. I'm going to do vibration sense. So it's going to be a, a little buzzing feeling. I'm just going to put it right in the palm. Do you feel the buzz? Mm -hmm. Or just pressure like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me what you feel. Uh, vibration. Good. Pressure. Uh, pressure. Good. Vibration. Vibration. Pressure. Vibration. Vibration. Good. Pressure. Uh, vibration. Pressure. Okay. So the vibratory sensation is intact down the side of the face. And that tells us that that portion of the nerve is functioning correctly. So the sensation loss is probably more linked to something um, more um, on the upper layer of the dermis, of the nerves that sort of run along the skin versus the deeper cranial nerves of the face. Now, I just want to check for symmetry while we're, um, before I make that final assessment. So could you up your eyes like this and puff your cheeks out and don't let me push them in and close your eyes really tight. Squeeze them tight, really tight. Okay. Yeah, so symmetry is good. So that nerve is in, uh, in fact functioning, but um, it's just more of that top layer nerves of the, the skin. Because of that, I want to see if I can stimulate any sort of nerve response. Um, I'm just going to puff a little air in your face here. Feel that? Mm -hmm. uh, just tell me if there's tingling anywhere. So if, I want to know if it's like not just the spot that I'm touching you in or not blowing the air, but that it's sort of spreading out, okay? Okay. So feel any tingling on the forehead? Uh, no. Good. Here? No. That's all okay? Mm-hmm. Excellent. So we can roll that as well. About this tool, it's just a little bit cold. The difference between that and that? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to work my way across your face. Just tell me cold or warm. Cold. Warm. Warm. More. Cold. Good. Uh, cold. Warm. Cold. 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 Okay. We got all those correct as well. Just a little metal tool. I'm just been checking for some of the reflexes in your face, so just look straight ahead for me. Running this along, looking for any twitching, abnormal movements. Stimulating the muscles of the face. I'm not seeing anything pop up here. Hang your jaw for me, please. Same thing, hang the jaw. I'm just going to be tapping you lightly. Good. 
relax. What I have this here, just running it across the chest. Okay. So Jeremy, I think the findings in the face are pretty consistent with what we've been seeing with some improvement, so that's great. While I have you here, I'll just work my way down your arms um, just for a quick check. We won't go as thoroughly as we did on the face, um, but I want to make sure, especially on that left side, that you're not having any um, uh, damage down the side of the body and that there's nothing else we should be concerned with, okay? Okay. So again, starting out just with this hard cotton swab here, as I showed you before, just close your eyes and say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Can you flip your hand over for me, please? Yes. 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 Okay, good. Going on this side now. Yes. Yes. Working my way down the yes. sections. Yes. 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 And flip the hand. Yes. 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 Good. Let's try it with a little bit of a softer stimuli. So this one. Your chest just really light and puffy, so it might be a little harder to feel, but it will. Um, if you're able to feel it, we'll know it's pretty much all the uh, different sections of the nerves are intact. Yes. 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 Put the hands. Yes. 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 Okay. And I'm going to go side to side. Does that feel the same as that? Mm-hmm. This, same as that? Mm-hmm. Down here in the hand? Yeah. Okay, great. So that, check that off. I'm going to do that same sharper dual tool. Um, and it's just going to uh, be the same exact thing where I'm just going to do one dull or two sharp and you tell me what you feel. Keep your eyes closed. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Good. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Fine as well. It's gonna run it down from the top to the bottom, and I want you to tell me if it changes at all. Any difference down there? No. Okay. Here. Anything different? No. Can you flip your arms, please, and do the inside. Same all the way down. Mm-hmm. Good. And here. Yep. All right. So we've got. That vibration or pressure, I'm just going to hold it on a few key joints here. So on your elbows, your wrists, and then the finger joints. And I want you to tell me what you feel. Vibration. Pressure. Vibration. Vibration. Pressure. Pressure. Vibration. Good. Very sensitive there, so that's good. Try the other side. Vibration. Vibration. Pressure. Vibration. Very good. Vibration. Pressure. So all of those were good. Does that feel cold to you? Mm -hmm. Same temperature as I drag it down? Yeah. How about on this side? Yeah. And if I drag my finger down, does that feel just as warm all the way? Mm-hmm. 
No problems there. Good. So the last test we have is just going to be to stimulate that puff of air. And again, tell me if there's any tingling in the arms, uh, especially around this area or that, um, the carpal tunnel. There can be, okay. No discomfort? No. Okay. Very good. All right, so both the right and left arm are typical. Let's do some reflexes. Just checking the functioning here. And just relax as best you can for me. Reflexes are good. I think I'm just going to stimulate the muscle groups here. Just looking if I'm triggering any sort of spasms. Okay, everything looks okay. Let's see if there's any trigger finger. I'm going to move down to the legs now, Jeremy, and I want to repeat all of that that we just did in the arms on the lower half of the body. Again, you haven't had any issues in the past that you know of, right? No. It's just that facial area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it should be pretty typical, but we want to run through just in case. Okay, so again, my little cotton swab, just say yes when you feel it and look away. Yes. out that finer sensation. Um, to say yes. 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 Right. This side. Yes. 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 So I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be touching each of your toes and if I miss one or if you feel that one that wasn't touched I want you to tell me. So I'm going to go down the line you let me know. Did I miss uh, one? Yeah, the middle one? This one right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do the same thing on this side. Did I miss one? Um, I think so. Okay. What, was it this one? No. Was it this one? No. Not this one? I think so. Okay. Try that one more time. There was one inconsistency, so. Did I? Have I have the second one. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that can be a little bit hard. This is a very um, soft, precise tool. So I'm not really worried about anything, but we'll just make a note. Moving on to the next couple tests here. I'm just gonna do the sharper dole once again. Feel better? Sure. just one here that you did to get wrong so does this feel the same as that mm -hmm. okay good. and what about this and that yeah. all right so that's fine I'm gonna make a little vibratory sound I'm gonna put it on your knees your ankle 
and one of your toes. Tell me what you feel. Uh, vibration. 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 Good. And on this side? Pressure. Vibration. 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 Very good. Does that feel the same all the way down temperature wise? Yes. Same all the way down? Mm -hmm. What about this? Mm -hmm. yeah. What does that feel like to you? So again, no problems in the legs with sensory. We'll check the reflexes in just a second. Any weakness, tingling, numbness, things like that? No. Yeah. Right, try the puff of air. And I'll test the reflexes at the same time. Any sort of shooting pains, tingness, tingling, numbness goes down the legs or even in the back? I want to know, okay? Just relax. I'm going to do the reflexes in the legs now. Just feeling for the patella. There we go. Okay, I'm going to try this one again. The other one was a little bit more active. Scrape the bottom of your foot, it's going to be just a smidge uncomfortable. I do apologize. Okay. And that's Lipinski, and that's all intact. So, again, just going to run around, stimulate the muscles here. See if there's any shaking. That all looks fine. Just test your ear for clonus. There's a little bit of rigidity. Okay, no clonus, but a little bit of rigidity. Would you say you're a particularly flexible person? No. Okay, so perhaps just need to be a little stretching. So I think for the full body, we've got a really good indication that everything is functioning properly. Um, there's just one blink reflex because that sensation loss is so close to the eye that I want to do. But other than that, I think you're on the uh, upward trend. So assuming that this is functioning, so just look straight ahead, ignore me. Okay, good. Blinking is the is the reaction we want. We want you to be able to blink. Okay, it's a little bit slow actually on the blink reaction. I would have thought they would have um, it would have happened a little bit faster. So we'll just watch that as well. Could just be that you stare at a computer all day and you're very used to having your eyes open and looking straight ahead. But other than that, I don't see any drooping of the face. All right, so that is everything for our appointment today. Jeremy, do you have any questions for me? No, not right now. All right, well, I'm very happy to, hear, to see that the sensation is coming back. Um, I would say I give it a little bit more time. If you encounter anything unusual, please let us know. But it might just be one of these things because it was from when you fell and mm -hmm. hit that area, right? Yeah. You know, yeah, you could just have some... some healing that needs to happen, some bruising, some swelling that's pressing on those nerves um, where you're just not getting the full sensory uh, experience that you are on this other side. But um, it's very likely that it'll come back to 100% uh, and not too long from now. Okay. All right. Well, it's nice to see you again, and um, I hope you feel better soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.